We do begin with that sad news coming in now. Former First Lady Barbara Bush has died. As I mentioned, the wife of one president, her son, then became president too. America loved her fighting spirit. Mrs. Bush died at home, surrounded by her family, after deciding to no longer seek medical treatment. Her health was failing, but her family says Barbara Bush's spirits and grace remained strong until the very end. Here's ABC Cecilia Vega. She was the matriarch of an American dynasty, famous for her fierce loyalty. I hated it when anyone criticized my brilliant husband, and I furious when they criticized my son. And her razor sharp wit. That same fellow that I used to yell at to please pick up his room to see him as president is truly amazing. Born Barbara Pierce, the third of four children. At 16, she met George Herbert Walker Bush at a school dance. They were engaged a year and a half later before he left for the war. He knew back home she was waiting. I would stand there and look out at the blackness of the sky, and I would think about friends I lost, a country I loved, and about a girl named Barbara. The Bushes had six children, but tragedy struck when they lost their three-year-old daughter, Robin, to leukemia. Do you ever get over that? No. And that's okay, too. But, but it's true that she is a happy part of our life now. While George built a political career, Barbara packed up the kids, moving more than two dozen times. Along the way, learning from a struggle with depression. I think it was a good thing to happen, because now when I hear about depression, instead of saying, oh, pull yourself together, which is what I used to think, I now think, well, that's tough, and, and you got to get help. But for decades, she was the rock by his side. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. The woman with the down-to-earth style thrust into the glamorous role of first lady, an irony she would joke about when she got to the White House. Now, speaking of glamour, I want you all to look at me very carefully. <laughs> As first lady, Barbara Bush left her own mark promoting literacy, but it wasn't until after the White House that Mrs. Bush would reveal some of her private views in a memoir, including her thoughts about abortion. You are pro-choice. I think that's right. And it, that comes as no surprise to George Bush. The family could always count on Barbara to speak her mind. My dream for our family has always been they'd grow up, they'd get a good education, they'd be happily married or they'd find someone they could be happy with and that they would not think they were entitled, that they would work and that they would then turn around and give back to the country because they're so lucky. And my dream has been answered. Our thanks to Cecilia tonight and the whole country remembering Barbara Bush and the Bush family telling us that in her final days they took turns reading to her, her son Neil saying that he was reading to his mother from her own memoir. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.